never slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement gonna learn the consequences we are just 24 hours away from the Thanksgiving Classic Survivor Series, which will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But tonight is WWE Main Event, and it's all roads leading to tomorrow night's Survivor Series. Momentum is on the line. Later tonight from the Golden One Center, it's Sacramento, California. The Prince Finn Balor, the King Shinsuke Nakamura, both will be on opposing ends of the ring tomorrow night, a part of Team Sheamus versus Team Drew McIntyre. But tonight, it's a grudge match, one-on-one. -on -one. Will Finn Balor and Nakamura build momentum towards their teams? We'll find out later this evening on Main Event. But we kick things off tonight with the woman that will be defending her WWE Women's Championship in just 24 hours at Survivor Series, the Empress of Tomorrow. The dominating Asuka! Set for one on one action to kick us off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka! A matchup here tonight, and then another matchup looming in just 24 hours for the Empress of Tomorrow as she will defend the gold against the woman she took it from all the way back in the month of June. Shotzi, Asuka Shotzi, one on one for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. A whole lot of writing on that one on one affair. It was all the way back at SummerSlam in June where Asuka cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase on Shotzi, who had just won the WWE Women's Championship from then champion, the EST of WWE Bianca Belair. Asuka cashed in before Shotzi could even hold the gold in her hands, went on to walk away from Phoenix on that night with the WWE Women's Championship. Since then, Asuka has retained the gold against Casey Catanzaro, Shotzi and Bianca Belair in a triple threat matchup, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan in a triple threat matchup. Can Shotzi, however, knock off Asuka when it's one-on-one -on -one tomorrow night, Thanksgiving night, at Survivor Series? And accompanied by Bailey from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! And for, and for Dakota Kai, excuse me, tonight is about rebuilding some momentum for these two women in damage control, Bailey, who brought Dakota Kai to the main roster a number of months ago as kind of an assist to her to help her get back on track. We've seen some impressive showings out of Bailey and Dakota Kai. However, the last time we saw them step foot inside the squared circle, a part of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament that will also be culminating tomorrow night at Survivor Series. But unfortunately for damage control, they will not be in attendance at the TD Garden in Boston. Coming up short in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, so for tonight, Dakota Kai, one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow. And as we mentioned, it's all about building momentum tonight on your Thursday night edition, or excuse me, your Wednesday night edition of WWE Main Event. As we kick things off, Asuka and Dakota Kai, and of course, again, tomorrow night, Thursday night, Thanksgiving night, 2022, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, is your 2022 edition of Survivor Series. And we'll see Asuka, as we mentioned, in that ring tomorrow night as she goes one-on-one -on -one with Shotzi, the woman she took the gold away from nearly five months ago. And Shotzi's been chomping at the bit to get Asuka one-on-one. -on -one. As we mentioned, Asuka had retained the gold previously all the way back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in August against Shotzi and Bianca Belair in a triple threat contest. Asuka also the last time she defended the gold, defeating Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan in a triple threat matchup back at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. Let's see if Asuka is able to topple Shotzi tomorrow night when it's one-on-one. -on -one. And you gotta imagine the Empress of Tomorrow, the favorite going into that matchup undefeated since winning the women's championship. And remember, Shotzi does own a victory over the Empress of Tomorrow. It was a week prior to the SummerSlam pay-per-view back in June. Asuka then was holding the women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Shotzi was the number one contender. The two women went one-on-one -on, -one on Monday Night Raw, and Shotzi defeated Asuka on that night. So we do know that Shotzi has earned a victory one-on-one -on -one against Asuka. She can get the job done, but will the big match matter tomorrow night? And will the champion, I gotta again, again, say that Asuka is going to be the favorite in that matchup due to her recent track record as the champion. 
It'll be very interesting to see who walks out of the TD Garden in Boston tomorrow night. But right now, Dakota Kai in firm control of the Empress of Tomorrow. And still to come tonight here on main event, the Prince Finn Balor one-on-one -on -one with the King, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura coming off a loss to Austin Fury on Monday Night Raw, which Finn Balor had a play in. Sneaking his nose out in the arena in Los Angeles on Raw may have cost Nakamura the victory in that contest. A little bit of a grudge match which he'll touch on more later tonight when the Prince and the King go one-on-one -on -one inside that very ring. All that and more still to come as Dakota Kai hit in the corner. Could be looking for that signature corner kick and it may be a knockout blow to the women's champion. Oh, but Asuka is so tough already back with a kick of her own. We mentioned Asuka has been undefeated, so dominant ever since winning the women's championship. Oh, nice counter by Dakota there. Asuka eats the canvas one-on-one. -on -one. Asuka back up. She is really just eating the offense of Dakota Kai right now. I'm sure Asuka is really trying to be trying to get this match done as soon as possible. Just 24 hours away from a women's championship defense. She does not want to risk any serious damage or fatigue or possible serious injury heading into the matchup with Shotzi tomorrow night at Survivor Series. Dakota Kai on the outside now has got Asuka worse for wear. Could be headed to the barricade and the women's champion eats the top of the barricade. But right there again, every time Dakota Kai Tries to mount some offense in this matchup. The Empress of Tomorrow right there to cut her off. Asuka bringing her A-game. going to send a message to Shotzi here tonight. And what a spinning kick to Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai known for her signature kicks inside of the ring. But Asuka a pure striker as well. As she does it again. Make it a dose. Now let's see what Asuka's got in mind. Look at this. Unloading yet again on Dakota Kai. Sends her for a ride. Dakota Kai's tag team partner of damage control, Bailey at ringside, obviously not liking what she sees at the current moment in this contest. And Asuka, oh wait a minute, I think we know what she's going for here. Signature hip attack on Dakota Kai. The women's champion into the cover, wait a minute, Bailey up on the corner. Dakota Kai kicked out, but somebody watch Bailey, she's trying to take, oh she might have got caught there, got caught with the hand of the cookie jar. Bailey was trying to take the turnbuckle pad off. Gonna assist Dakota Kai, but referee's got her eyes on Bailey now. Meanwhile, Asuka, oh no, Dakota Kai's in trouble. Asuka's tying her up. Asuka locking the ring. Dakota Kai, nowhere to go. The women's champion's got a hold, and Dakota Kai taps out. The Empress of Tomorrow, your current WWE Women's Champion, building some solid momentum for tomorrow night's Survivor Series. Dakota putting up a fight, but as we mentioned earlier, it seemed like every time Dakota was starting to mount some offense in this matchup, Asuka is right there to cut her off real quick. And I'm sure Shotzi's had her eyes on the women's champion's performance tonight. She's going to be locked and loaded to go one-on-one -on -one with the Empress tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Will the near five month reign of Asuka continue when she goes one on one with the Blackheart Shotzi tomorrow night? Or is Shotzi going to be leaving the Boston as the new WWE Women's Champion of the World? Find out tomorrow night at Survivor Series. The action rolls on live here from the Golden One Center in Sacramento, California. A red eyes waiting for those participating in Survivor Series in Boston tomorrow night, and that includes all four competitors in this tag team matchup this evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Tomorrow night at Survivor Series, the show off. Dolph Ziggler set to go one on one with the black heart of the WWE, the Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. Ziggler earning that opportunity a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, outlasting Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, Rey Mysterio, and Mustafa Ali in that fatal five way elimination matchup. Dolph Ziggler punched his ticket to become the number one contender on that night. And he's had some run-ins with Tommaso Ciampa in the past, so Ziggler going to get another crack at Ciampa tomorrow night. But this time, the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line. And speaking of championship gold, 
Dolph Ziggler's partner tonight, the one and only king of the cruiserweight division, the current cruiserweight champion of the world, Ricochet. And his partner from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Survivor Series is the theme looming tonight, and Ricochet is set to defend the gold against Roderick Strong in just 24 hours. Roderick Strong, a number of weeks ago here on Main Event, arriving from NXT, outlasting seven others in an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal to punch his first-class ticket to the TD Garden in Boston tonight. Ricochet holding the Cruiserweight Championship ever since the SummerSlam pay-per-view back in June where he defeated Santos Escobar. Since then, he's retained the gold against Santos Escobar. Isaiah Swerve Scott, Wes Lee, Chad Gable. Will Roderick Strong be next on Ricochet's list, or is this man, Roddy Strong, the Messiah, the backbreaker, gonna be the kryptonite to Ricochet's Cruiserweight Championship reign? And from Tampa, Florida, weighing in, the eight-man battle royal a number of weeks ago right here on main event came down to Roderick Strong and Isaiah Swerve Scott. And as we mentioned, Roderick Strong outlasting seven other competitors, the last man standing on that night. It is first night since arriving to the main roster from NXT. Roderick Strong immediately making an impact, and he's coming for the Cruiserweight Championship gold. We know Roderick Strong's got all the tools inside of the squared circle. A former NXT Tag Team Champion. A former NXT North American Champion. Roderick Strong looking to add to his list of accolades here in the WWE. His first one, a part of the main roster. And he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet in 24 hours at Survivor Series. We could very well be looking at the next Cruiserweight Champion of the World. And the titles might not, might not be on the line here tonight. But tonight, as we've mentioned, a momentum builder evening. And here comes your Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Chippa. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion. The cold-hearted, cruel black heart of the WWE, Tommaso Ciampa, arrived on the scene just 24 hours back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, where he attacked then Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne. He made a beeline for the Bruiserweight week after week, defeating Dolph Ziggler and Ilya Dragunov in the process. Went on to win the Intercontinental Championship back at Judgment Day against the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, possibly thanks to some tactics from the Celtic Warrior Sheamus earlier in the evening. But nonetheless, Tommaso Ciampa, your Intercontinental Champion, and he's well on the way to Survivor Series to defend that gold against Dolph Ziggler. And as we mentioned, Ciampa owns a recent victory over the show off. And I'm sure Dolph Ziggler has been thinking about that loss ever since. Again, earning the right to fight Tommaso Ciampa to become the number one contender. Tomorrow night is not just about revenge, but it's about the gold as well. Ziggler and Ciampa are going to lock horns at Survivor Series, but tonight, it's a chance to scout your opponent. It's a chance to get a feel of what's to come in 24 hours, Thanksgiving evening at Survivor Series, and it's all about building momentum. Roderick Strong, Tommaso Ciampa versus Dolph Ziggler and Ricochet, and what has already been an incredible night of action here on Main Event. And of course, still to come on this stacked evening, the King, Shinsuke Nakamura, going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Prince Finn Balor, both those men to be on the Survivor Series card tomorrow night, a part of the Survivor Series six-man elimination challenge between Team Sheamus and Team Drew McIntyre. We have two championship matches looming in the ring right now, but it's all about building up momentum, a part of this tag team affair. Roderick Strong and Dolph Ziggler locking horns for the first time, but now Strong tags in the Intercontinental Champion, and here we go, picking up where we left off well over a month ago on Monday Night Raw, and also a little early preview of what's to come tomorrow night. 
I'm sure for Dolph Ziggler right now, again, not just about the Intercontinental Championship, but tonight and tomorrow about getting revenge on Tommaso Ciampa for handing him that loss on Ciampa's first night in action a part of the main roster, for using Dolph Ziggler as a stepping stone to the Intercontinental Championship. I'm sure that is all in the show-off's mind as he tags in the Cruiserweight Champion Ricochet. And look at this, a little champion versus champion action right now. Intercontinental versus Cruiserweight. Ricochet got all the tools to be any champion here in the WWE, but he's been holding down the Cruiserweight division since June 26th of this year. Now the Intercontinental Champion stuck in Ricochet. What a knee early on in this matchup. Ricochet, we know how tough he is again. A lot of championship defenses in the book of the one and only so far against Santos Escobar, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Wes Lee, Chad Gable. Ricochet has been unstoppable atop of the cruiserweight division, but Will Roderick Strong, as we mentioned, as we deemed possibly his kryptonite tomorrow night at Survivor Series, but Ricochet holding his own against Tommaso Ciampa right now. Very interesting pairing again here, champion versus champion, and again, Ricochet, somebody who's got the tools to hold any championship here in the WWE. I'm sure one day possibly could be fighting for the Intercontinental Championship yet again. Look at this, Ciampa, beautiful neck breaker. That's the thing about Tommaso Ciampa, whether you like his actions or not, nobody can test him from bell to bell. He absolutely is a tough SOB inside the squared circle, as he's proven right now, has got Ricochet locked and loaded. Ricochet able, luckily for him, to sweep the legs out from under, going for the hangman's neck breaker, but Ciampa nowhere to be found. Tagging in Roderick Strong, and now Roderick Strong looking to get him some ahead of Survivor Series. A bit of a preview of our Cruiserweight Championship matchup. And again, Survivor Series will be live tomorrow night, Thanksgiving 2022, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. A live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Roderick Strong, look at this, one backbreaker. We call him the Messiah, the backbreaker for a reason. And that's what Ricochet's really got to be careful of, not just tonight, but tomorrow night at Survivor Series. If Ricochet takes out the lower back of the one and only, or I should say, if Roderick Strong takes out the back of Ricochet, that is really going to limit the high-flying abilities of the Cruiserweight Champion. That would really take a lot out of the arsenal of the, the one and only Ricochet. If he can't go to the sky, he's going to be forced to get creative, which we know Ricochet can do. He can't allow Roderick Strong to move the match how he wants tomorrow. Ricochet's got to play his game. It's really a contrast of styles between the one and only and the Messiah of the backbreaker tomorrow night. Ricochet looking good against Ciampa right now, but Roderick Strong, a cheap shot, knocking the Cruiserweight Champion off the apron, and Ciampa follows it up with a clothesline. And the Cruiserweight Champion down and out, but you see Ricochet trying to fight, trying to get out of this situation, trying to get to his side of the ring. Ricochet could really benefit from a tag, but Ricochet elects to take it to the air. Corkscrew, Cruiserweight Champ, takes out the Intercontinental Champ. And now making the smart decision to tag in Dolph Ziggler. Dolph's had a few minutes to rest in this matchup, going right after Tommaso Ciampa. Ziggler looking to get his hands, but there's Ciampa, trying to make sure Ziggler can't mount the momentum in this contest. Has got him up, swings him around, and delivers a neck breaker on the knee. Nobody wants to risk injury in this matchup. And Tommaso Ciampa's looking to put it away. A driving knee to the side of the skull of the show-off Dolph Ziggler. And into the cover he goes, Ricochet able to break up the count. And I'm not sure if this match would still be going if Ricochet wasn't here right now. Ciampa hits that move tomorrow night. He may be walking out still, the Intercontinental Champion. Dolph trying to fight back in this matchup. Got the Intercontinental Champion down, the show off, grab it a hold, whip it off the Champion, pulls him in with an AA simple but effective mover to take Ciampa down. Dolph Ziggler has had a decorated career here in the WWE. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Champa, Champa, down goes Dolph Ziggler. You want to talk about backbreakers. Champa may have just delivered his own. And Ricochet again, saving the matchup for his team. The one and only not looking to walk away without some momentum on his side tonight. But I think that's two times in a row, whether you want to admit it or not, that Ricochet just saved Dolph Ziggler's ass in this tag team matchup. 
Ziggler's trying to fight back, trying to mount some offense. Ricochet's been taken out. But I don't know if Dolph Ziggler, after the damage that's been done, is going to be able to fight past the Intercontinental Champion and the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Ziggler's trying to mount some offense, but you see he's not in his A game. He doesn't have the Cruiserweight Champion in his corner to watch his back at the moment. Champa snap suplex, gonna do even more damage to the lower back of Dolph Ziggler. We talked about Roderick Strong doing the lower back damage to Ricochet. Ziggler's gotta be careful, the same thing. Oh, wait a minute. Dolph Ziggler eats the knees of the Messiah, the backbreaker. And then the cover goes strong. Momentum on the side of Strong and Champa heading into Survivor Series. You saw Ricochet tried to save the matchup but he was just a half a second too late. And unfortunately for Dolph Ziggler, he is on, or excuse me, going into Survivor Series on the losing column. Ricochet not liking that loss, but unfortunately, the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, Roderick Strong, and your current Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa, are in the driver's seat to the TD Garden in Boston tomorrow night. Whether you like it or not, this is an impressive victory here on main event. Damage certainly done. What a maneuver right there. Here are your winners, Roderick Strong and Tommaso Ciampa. Will Ciampa leave with the Intercontinental Gold? And are we looking at the new Cruiserweight Champion of the World tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, it is a live premiere event. It begins at 5 p.m. Eastern time right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. The best of the best of the WWE will be at hand at Survivor Series. For 147 days, the one and only Ricochet has been the king of the Cruiserweight division. But has he met his kryptonite in the Messiah the Backbreaker, Roderick Strong? We will find out tomorrow night. The Intercontinental Championship on the line as well, as we just saw the show off Dolph Ziggler. Not the way he wanted to go in the Survivor Series, but will he be able to bounce back one-on-one -on -one versus Tommaso Ciampa? The gold's on the line tomorrow night. For weeks, we have built up to the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament Finals, and tomorrow night it all comes to a halt. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way meet Io Shirai and Saya Lee. New Women's Tag Team Champions are going to be crowned. Shotzi has waited for this one-on-one -on -one matchup since all the way back at SummerSlam. Now she finally gets the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, mano a mano inside of the ring for the WWE Women's Championship. Will the reign of Asuka continue, or will Shotzi walk out with the gold? It is a Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup. Team Sheamus, along with Finn Balor and Apollo Crews, takes on Drew McIntyre's team of Shinsuke Nakamura and the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, 3v3. And also in a six-man elimination matchup, the Hurt Business, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, and Team Captain Bobby Lashley meet the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, and Team Captain the Phenomenal, AJ Styles. It is a last man standing matchup it is the rubber match between all day austin theory and the franchise john cena both these men picking up victories on raw but who is gonna be the last man standing and inside hell in a cell the wwe championship is on the line the apex predator randy orton versus the rated r superstar defending wwe champion edge it is a stacked card tomorrow night at the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Thanksgiving 2022, gonna be remembered for the fall classic of Survivor Series. But it is time for your main event here tonight. Two men looking to build momentum towards the Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup in just 24 hours. The Prince Finn Balor. The contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring accompanied by a kid from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! The Prince Finn Balor with a kid in his corner, looking to build momentum for Team Sheamus tomorrow night. It's going to be 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is a live premiere. All eight matches signed. going to be front, signed, sealed, and delivered tomorrow night at Survivor Series.
A kid in the corner of the Prince here tonight. A little bit of a partnership formed a number of weeks ago on main event. Respect was earned from A kid who made his debut from NXT UK. Finn Balor liking what the kid brought to the table, offered him a chance. Whether you agree with the decision by A kid or not, definitely some worthy talent in the corner of the Prince Finn Balor. And Finn Balor has had a Long history with all three men on the opposing team tomorrow night. Pete Dunne, Drew McIntyre, and of course his opponent this evening, Shinsuke Nakamura. Finn Balor owns recent victories over the Scottish Psycho Pass, so definitely some bragging rights for the Prince in that aspect. And Finn Balor, remember back at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, during the reign of the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne as Intercontinental Champion, Pete Dunne defeated Finn Balor, was absolute wrestling clinic, all the way back in August in Seattle at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view some history there and then of course for Balor and Nakamura these two men you remember all the way back to week one of this season of WWE Universe mode Finn Balor Shinsuke Nakamura during the Intercontinental Championship reign of Shinsuke Nakamura the first matchup on Monday Night Raw to kick off the season both were as well in that number one contenders fatal five-way matchup which was won by Dolph Ziggler a number of weeks ago on Raw some more beef between these two men but Nakamura also not coming alone tonight. He's got his new ally, Rick Boogs, in his corner tonight. A little bit of backup for both of these men, but who's walking away with momentum in their corner here from Sacramento? And his opponent, accompanied by Rick Boogs from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Shinsuke Nakamura looking to bounce back after that loss on Monday Night Raw to all day Austin Theory. And it may have took it a couple more maneuvers for Austin Theory to put Nakamura away, but Nakamura's game plan in that matchup really shifted when the Prince Finn Balor reared his ugly head from the entrance, distracting Nakamura, taking his eye off the ball, and really allowed Austin Theory to get the advantage in that matchup and end up ultimately defeating Nakamura this past week on Raw. So Nakamura and Balor with a score to settle tonight, hence the grudge match that has been labeled for this contest. A score to be settled and momentum is on the line as we are in our final moments before the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, locking horns. Here we go. And of course, we ought to remind you that on the next episode of Monday Night Raw, it will be the 2022 WWE Draft. A brand extension is coming to Universe Mode, and Friday Night SmackDown is coming back on the air, and that will be taking the place of Main Event. Main Event may return in the future but for now it'll just be monday night raw and friday night smackdown so tonight will be your final main event episode for quite some time but friday night smackdown coming back on the air in its place and a whole lot of news going to be dropping throughout the draft and throughout the first edition of smackdown coming your way in the next week let's get back to the action inside of the ring finn balor shinsuke nakamura a kid in the corner of balor rick boogs in the corner of nakamura what a missile drop kick taking the king off his feet in the corner, Nakamura to get the shoulder up. You gotta wonder the condition of Nakamura. Hot again off that matchup with Austin Theory on Monday Night Raw. And again, it was a loss for the King of Strong Style. So Nakamura not one to get yet another loss. And, le and less momentum in the corner of Team Drew McIntyre heading to the Survivor Series tomorrow night. So I'm sure a lot of pressure on the shoulders of the King here tonight in Sacramento. Of course, in the positive light for Team Drew McIntyre. McIntyre was in action on Raw as well as he defeated the big man of Apollo Crews, Commander Aziz, in a heavy hitting one-on-one -on -one matchup. So not all looking down for Team Drew McIntyre tomorrow night, but with Balor going to be one of the men across the ring on Team Sheamus, you definitely don't want to walk away with a loss here tonight. Nakamura may have been a knockout blow to the Prince. Balor able to get the shoulder up. Again, Finn Balor some of the big recent victories in his career. Two victories over the Scottish Psychopath, Drew McIntyre. Wait a minute, Nakamura going for the King Sasha there. But Balor with the drop toe hold and fouls it up with a swing blade. 
Again, you gotta wonder the condition of Nakamura coming out of that physical contest with Austin Theory on Monday Night Raw. Balor looking to take advantage of Nakamura's fatigue in this matchup, looking to add on some more fatigue ahead of Survivor Series and possibly make sure that the King ain't going into Boston 100%. Nakamura, nice counter. Face plants Finn Balor, dead center of the ring. I like the maneuvers of the King of Strong Style right now. And into the cover he goes. Will that be all from Finn? And Nakamura not able to put Balor away just yet. Once again, eight matches signed for tomorrow night's Survivor Series. It is a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Set your reminders. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the Survivor Series pay-per-view featuring, of course, Team Finn Balor, or excuse me, Team Sheamus versus Team Drew McIntyre. And the Survivor Series six-man elimination matchup, as well as AJ Styles, Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, 3v3 versus the Hurt Business. And what about the main event for Survivor Series tomorrow night? The WWE Championship going to be on the line inside the demonic, legendary structure of Hell in the Cell. As the number one contender, the Viper, the Apex Predator, who's just been unstoppable over the last number of months, Randy Orton goes one-on-one -on -one for the final time ever. A legendary rivalry finally going to come to a halt against the rated R superstar, the defending WWE Champion Edge. Look at this Balor going for the coup de gras there. Nakamura able to get out of the way, or that might have been the final nail in the coffin of this contest. Balor in trouble. Nakamura sending him into the corner. Eight kid at ringside, not liking what he sees out of his mentor right now. See if Shinsuke can get back into this contest. Balor a little bit dazed right now. Nakamura liking what he's got going for him. And I'm sure Drew McIntyre as well as Pete Dunne got their eyes on this matchup as well. But if it elevated King Sasa from a different angle, maybe enough to kick Balor out. But Balor gets the shoulder up. Not enough just yet for Shinsuke Nakamura. A strong blow to the noggin. One of Nakamura's hardest hits in his arsenal, but the... Just the first few minutes of this matchup, not enough damage done to the Prince, I believe, to put Finn Balor away. Balor on spaghetti legs, Nakamura going for the cross body of Finn Balor with the catch and puts him right down on the canvas. Balor's obviously got something else in mind here. Grabbing a hold of the King of Strong style. Nice drop kick to the side of the head, whether you like Finn Balor or not. Got all the tools to get the hand raised, as we know, inside of the ring. Oh, and I'm taking Nakamura down. You take out the knees, it's going to be hard to strike with the King Sasa and many other of the knees and kicks that are in Shinsuke Nakamura's repertoire. Nakamura's down. Balor's going to the top rope. Maybe in trouble. To the gras. And into the cover he goes. And unfortunately, Nakamura's losing streak continues here tonight. Finn Balor. Picking up the momentum for Team Sheamus, but will they be the winners tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere, WWE Survivor Series. A great night of action here on Main Event, but we are catching the red eye to Boston, and we will see you live in 24 hours. Good night, everybody, from Sacramento. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a